Memories can be a double-edged sword. They can provide moments of comfort and calm on our best days and trigger stress, anxiety, and fear on our worst. Memories are also notoriously convoluted, catching us into second-guessing our past actions and even creating abstract or straight-up false memories. It's the Berenstain Bears, folks, not Berenstain. And Sinbad did not play a genie in a movie. How we remember the past is one of the central themes in game mechanics and Don't Nod Entertainment's Tell Me Why, a novel episodic narrative adventure. Tell Me Why is a departure from Life is Strange and its depiction of supernatural powers because it instead wants to tell a deep, grounded story about its main characters as they work through their past traumas as adults. Tell Me Why invites the player to Delos Crossing, a small community in Alaska where the biggest thing people worry about is a troublesome stranger that's stealing their mail. Twins Tyler and Allison Ronan are to be reunited after spending 10 years apart as a result of circumstances surrounding the death of their mother. In that time, the twins have grown into adults. Allison has been studying towards an accounting degree and plans to move to Juneau with a friend, and Tyler has completed his stay as a resident and later counselor at Fireweed, a facility that works with at-risk youth. The familial relationship between the two siblings upon seeing each other is tangible and heartfelt as they spend the entire trip home catching up with each other. All seems gentle and quaint at first, but it doesn't take long before ripples disrupt the sea of calm. The reason why Tyler has come back to Dallas Crossing with his sister is to help sell their childhood home, a modest lakeside residence that once served as a place of comfort before tragedy struck, leaving their lives forever changed. As children, Tyler and Allison lived a carefree, if rather lonely life with their mother, Marianne. Marianne was a gifted storyteller who passed her knack for creating fairy tales onto her children, whom she affectionately referred to as her little goblins, and she, the princess. The twins spent every waking moment with each other, creating a bond so strong that they were able to communicate telepathically, using this supernatural talent to further dive into the world of imagination. All that changed when Tyler started expressing himself in a manner that conflicted with the gender he was assigned with at birth. Though intensely loved by his sister, Tyler's recollection of the past depicts an unsupportive mother who fought against her child's behavior, ultimately leading to a situation that rocked Della's Crossing to its very core. Now, as they rummage through their mother's things, Tyler makes a discovery that has both siblings immediately second-guessing the past. Over the course of three episodes, you'll follow the twins on their painful quest to seek answers about their mother, only to find that most folks would rather just forget the whole thing and move on. To share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us ten years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And, uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. Man, ever. The thread that connects Tell Me Why and Don't Nod's previous titles is player choice. You won't have to decide which future to create or how to encourage a small child to use their powers for good, but the choices Tyler and Allison make will have an effect not just on the people around them, but how they decide to interpret the events that brought them back together in the first place. There are a lot of small, personal moments where you can steer conversation towards a particular outcome and make decisions that have some negative or positive effect later on. Nothing is ever black and white, which lends a certain degree of agony in having to make a call that could potentially alter a relationship. And it doesn't help that some of these junctions are timed. Lending a greater effect on the story is the twins' ability to recall memories from the past to help them in the present. Each episode confronts you with a memory that has two possible outcomes that are based on what Tyler and Allison think they saw as kids. It can be difficult to choose as neither character makes a strong case as to why their memory should be the accepted one. No one really stops to say, well, my memory is correct because of A, B, and C. It's up to the player to decide for themselves who is right and wrong in order to build a profile of Marianne that may largely determine how they react to the third episode's final decision. Don't Nod's past games have, to some degree, represented all walks of human life. Life is Strange and its sequels provided players the opportunity to initiate same-sex relationships in a respectful manner. Tell Me Why takes a different route and features representation of a trans man in Tyler. 
Don't Nod consulted with trans advocates to ensure that the character was respectfully represented, and I feel like they've done a great job. Their sensitivity paid to Tyler by not denaming him in flashbacks, where he's referred to as Young Tyler, nor does the story suggest that he transitioned as a result of the traumatic event. It's easy to develop empathy and care towards Tyler because he's so likable and personable. In light of the controversy over a trans character in Deadly Premonition 2, it's good to see a game do it much better. Even though it feels more grounded and less focused on crazy superpowers, Tell Me Why is Don't Nod's most endearing narrative adventure in their catalog. With only three episodes to tell its story, the game makes good use of its time with a generous pace that comes with a clear and moderately straightforward story. The world doesn't feel as large and filled out as Life is Strange's Arcadia Bay, but the small town feel of Dallas Crossing makes Tyler and Allison's world the right size for this kind of story. Those who grew antsy with Don't Nod's release schedule will be delighted to know that each episode is scheduled to release within a week of each other, giving players enough time to reflect on the experience without growing annoyed over the gulf of time in between releases. I also want to call out real quick the game's visuals, which are more lifelike and photorealistic than the dreamy, artsy look of Life is Strange. Tell me why I might lack the excitement of time travel or superhuman abilities, but its subdued tone works in its favor as a tightly paced and progressive character drama. I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of Dark Station gives Tell Me Why four and a half stars.